Hey guys, it's me, Courtney. I wanted to update you guys on something a little, maybe it's exciting, I don't know, if you guys consider it. But I have been making vines a lot. Like, I've been uploading vines, like, like maybe 10 each day. And I am actually really like it. And so, if you guys want to follow me on Vine, it is just Courtney Marie. Um, capital C-O-U-R-T-N-E-Y, and then capital M. A I A R I E, so yeah, Courtney Marie. Um, so yes, but the person that actually really got me into vining is RJ's little sister. She vines like all the time, and so I was like, I just want to do that and just see what it'd be like. And actually, doing back to back vines is actually really fun. So yes, follow me on Vine. I do post daily. It is, like I said, Courtney Marie. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty easy to find and. My profile picture is me standing up. It's like a black and white picture, and it's me standing up in front of a mirror. So, yeah, that was made at the eye doctor, like, a few weeks ago. So, yeah, but anyway, that's my profile picture. So, that way you guys know when to, like, how to find me and stuff. So, yeah, but, um, I'm not really doing anything. I'm just chilling, and so, yeah. Um, the reason I want to tell you guys about the line is because if you guys like my video, I know I don't post on YouTube, all that much, but I want to let you guys know about the vines, so that way, if you guys really like my videos, um, then you can see me every day, so, yeah, um, but yeah, if you like my videos, if you wish that I would post more vi videos on YouTube, go follow me on Vine, because I post a lot more there, so, yeah, ever since I got my iPhone, I've been posting a lot on Vine, so, yeah, like I said, Courtney Marie, so, but anyway, I haven't been, um, haven't really been doing all that much. I've just been doing school. I had a good, pretty good Thanksgiving. Um, yeah, I was going to see my dog was on the bed, but she's not. I had a pretty good Thanksgiving, and yeah, uh, I start back school tomorrow. My Thanksgiving break is over, and so yeah, uh, my Christmas tree is up. I put my Christmas tree up on Thanksgiving, and nothing much has really changed. I'm just still, you know, Still pretty much homebound, and still pretty much stay at home all the time. I do go out to the store every once in a while. I um, go to the drugstore, or go to this, um, yeah, go to this gas station, the grocery store that's in our hometown. Um, it's in my hometown, so I don't go very, very, very far. Um, if I do go on car trips, it's maybe for like at least an hour, but I have my pump with me. So, I have my pump in a bag. So, yeah. And then, if I have, pretty much the only big outing I go to is a doctor's office. So, there's not really that much of an update. Although, I wanted to, um, I did not read, I was going through my videos, um, previous videos. And I did not realize that I made, um, an update about my surgery and telling my story about what happened to me. And, um... If you guys want to go watch that, you know, when I, if you guys wonder why I am hooked up all the time or I don't go out that much and I'm homebound, if you guys, it's a long story of why I'm homebound and stuff like that. So if you guys want to know why I'm homebound, please go check out, um, the video. I'll link it, um, and I'll link it down below. It's, um, my 13 month surgery update and I explain everything that happened. Um, so yeah. Um, so yeah, and I want to do a, um, like, surgery, I want to do another surgery update, like a two and a half, two year surgery update, um, so yeah, because it's been like a year, so I want to do one at least every year, so I want to do a, like, two year surgery update, and nothing much has really changed, but I'll just inform you guys of what's been going on, like I said, like, I mean, nothing much has really changed, but there's been some changes that have happened. Um, since, you know, I'm eating a lot more solids, my mouth and stuff like that, so, there's a lot, there's been a lot of consequences, um, for that, of, like, eating stuff by, food by mouth, because, um, so, yeah, I have to, I'll go ahead and explain it, but, every time I eat, um, solids or anything by mouth, I pretty much have to go to the restroom, like, 10, 15 minutes after I eat, maybe not even 10 or 15 minutes, but it's just, I don't know, that's just my system. And since I've been eating a lot, um, it just happens. And I talked to my gastroenterologist, and he presumed it to be dumping syndrome, which is um, a syndrome where the 
food dumps all at once, and a lot of kids with my birth defect, they have it, but I've checked my butcher multiple times when I've had, when I've had these, like, where I have to go to the bathroom, um, like, I call them attacks, where I get, like, really hot after I eat, and then I have to go to the bathroom, so, I thought it was dumping syndrome, but my mom's checked my blood sugar many times after I eat, because my grandma's a diabetic, so, you know, we had the equipment, so, she checked my blood sugar many times, and it's not, it's, like, right, you know, it's a good level, so, yeah, it's just, it's just very confusing and very hard, and I'll have to explain it to you guys, but, yeah, um, but, yeah, it's it's that whole ordeal of what happened to me two years ago. It's changed my life, and I don't think I will ever. I honestly will not. I do not think I will ever be the same. Um, It's just, you know, changed my life, and it, I don't know. It's changed my perspective on things. I'm a little bit more, I care about a lot more things. I pay attention to a lot more things. I'm more compassionate for people. Not that I was, not that I wasn't compassionate before, but been going through what I went through two years ago has brought so much compassion for the people and a whole new level. So yes, um, but yes, oh yes, and I'm not sure if I'm allowed to do this, but I hope I am. Um, thank you guys to the Sandbox. Um, they're an organization. They're a nonprofit organization for children and children. Families that have children with cancer or other life-threatening illnesses, um, and they are in Charlotte, and they actually were kind enough to bring me and my family a Thanksgiving dinner, um, and it was such a blessing. The food was so yummy, so if you got any of you guys from the Sandbox, and you guys are watching this, then I thank you. The food was so awesome, so...